Welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about the cellular changes that occur in the cardiac myocyte during ischemia. Cardiac myocytes depend on a constant delivery of oxygenated blood in order to power oxidative phosphorylation. In the setting of ischemia, there are numerous cellular changes that occur in the myocyte. They can be categorized as reversible cellular changes and irreversible cellular changes. These functional effects are felt immediately within seconds. Let's talk about the reversible changes. An ischemic myocyte switches from aerobic glycolysis into anaerobic glycolysis. Without ATP being produced, the cross bridge formation is stopped within seconds and the myocyte loses its contractility. We call this myofibril relaxation. If this happens to enough cardiac myocytes, then a whole portion of the ventricle would not work, resulting in a lower cardiac output. Cellular and mitochondrial swelling, glycogen depletion, and chromatin clumping. A few other reversible changes in the cardiac myocytes. Cellular swelling and other changes are actually reversible, but it has to be reversed within 30 minutes. If the ischemia is treated within 30 minutes of time, the heart will be able to function good as new. Look at that happy heart. A happy heart is brought back by reperfusion mechanisms like angioplasty, thrombolysis, and coronary bypass surgery. Let's talk about irreversible cell injuries. The major pathological change that signals irreversible damage at cellular level is what's called mitochondrial vacuolization. This means that the mitochondrial membrane ruptures and forms vacuoles inside it. When that myocyte cell membrane breaks down, yes, that's when the cell starts leaking its contents, including the molecules troponin and creatine kinase, which are detected in the blood serum after some time. Even though we restore the blood flow, there's a catch. There's a delay in time of contraction, which will be presented as a condition called a stunned myocardium. Even after reperfusion and relief of ischemia, the ventricular function restoration will still be delayed. 